another Joy Yuri reaction for you guys and this is of course my album first listen for I honestly took waltz in, in major album first listen I don't want to butcher the pronunciation you guys know I'm not that intelligent okay um, so yeah I'm going to be doing album first listen I believe there's four b-sides I don't actually have the track list yet um, I'm recording this intro obviously before the album has dropped um, but yeah I'm super excited Let's just go. Disclaimer, I will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs. This is my first time hearing the song, so I want to concentrate on the music production and their vocals, which is my priority. The lyrics distract me from that, so I'll read them later in my own time. There are plenty of reactors out there who will do lyric readings. I'm just trying to vibe. If you want to vibe with me, then cool. Okay guys, let's go. First up, we have the track Around and Around. Let's go. No, why did they make that a short intro track? That's that's almost pure evil if you ask me. That was so good. Why was it a short intro track? Nah, that is some bullshit. That was absolutely fantastic. You had the orchestral, the classical elements mixed with the R&B vibe. Because of that, that combination, that fusion, it was giving me Red Velvet, the Red Velvet's red side a little bit. You know how they sort of combine their sort of R&B vibes with sort of uh, classical, orchestral vibes sometimes? That's what it was giving me. It was giving me smooth, oh, the melodies, like I said, the instrumentation, every single thing about that. She sounded so good. Ooh, that was already so much better than the title track for me. Now I'm really excited for the remaining B-sides, bruh. That's fantastic. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have the track Roller Skates. I'm a little bit worried because of this title. I'm hoping it's not like a throwback 70s track. Um, even though we did have that on Glassy for the chorus, I just don't want it anymore again, I think. Um, it's making me worry, but who knows? Let's go, Roller Skates. Oh, 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 oh. 
right right now that was the complete opposite of what i was worried that it was gonna be that was so good the production that was fantastic the beat like the beat itself that the bass there's really low synths the way things were just sort of cutting out and coming back in there's little breaks and little breakdowns and little moments oh the song was fun fucking fantastic again i love the sort of r&b melodies but then the beat itself was sort of hip-hop when she came in, I think during the second verse, and she was melodic rapping, there's something about the way she raps, she rap sings, her flow, the way she just does it with her voice, it just sounds so good. I love the whistle in this, um, I love the piano. That was... Let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, let's go. So next up is the track, This Time. Let it go. Oh, it can play. It's giving me 90s ballad vibes already. The synth. Yeah. The strings.
Oh my goodness, I love endings and outros to songs like that. It just always sounds so fucking magical. That last chord and then the twinkly sounds, that was so beautiful. You guys know I'm not really into ballads, unfortunately. I find them like a bit boring in order to put them on and like listen to them casually. Um, however, when I'm like doing reactions and stuff, I don't mind hearing them at least once because they're very enjoyable and I get to hear, especially if it's a really good singer, I get to hear them sing because um, everything is so stripped back. Um, and that was very, very well written and composed. It was a beautiful song. She sounded absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's go on to the last track. Okay, so the last track is called Opening. Let's go. Opening at the end. Uh, beautiful piano. Do you think we have ballet? <laughs>
that was absolutely incredible. You'd have seen at the start, I was like, oh no, oh no, is this gonna be another ballad straight after another ballad? Like, oh no, but luckily, oh my God, it was a jazzy little number. Um, I do say that I'm not into ballads unless they're like 90s R&B or jazzy. Um, and that was so beautiful. I don't know if any of you are Orbits, if any of you stand Luna. If you're not and you haven't heard a track, a solo track by the member Hustle called Let Me In, um, please go listen to it. There's an MV and everything. Um, just type in Luna Hustle um, uh, Let Me In. Um, if you like that song, I promise you, you'll like Let Me In as well. Um, it was so beautiful. It was stunning. All the little jazzy elements, the instrumental. Um, her voice, the melodies, it was stunning. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say my favorite track is Roller Skates, but surprise, surprise, Snakery! I think my favorite track was Opening. Oh, no, I, oh man, what about Round and Around? See, I think if Round and Around was a full track, that would have been my favorite one because you had the classical elements, almost jazziness. Um, and then the R&B elements mixed together, I think it would have been a perfect track, but I can't say it's my favourite because it's so short. I'm just going to say opening is my favourite. Uh, let me know which track is your favourite in the comments, and yeah, I've got nothing else to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you, I love you. I love you on Instagram, guys, and I love you on Twitter, and yeah, goodbye. Oh.